promise to her that we would be her voice. A family packed into a delivery room at Castle Rock Adventist Hospital today. It was the same room where Blakely Grace Baker was born just six months ago. Today, her memory will help other families cope on their hardest day. Katie Eastman. Thanks for coming, guys. Good to see you. A moment in the Baker family is never just one thing. <laughs> not just happy. OK, you're making mommy dizzy. Not just one emotion. We have a big family. <laughs> January 8th taught them moments can be everything at once. When we pulled in, I was like, Emmy, this is where you were born. And sister was born here, too. And she was like, oh, sister's here. Happy <laughs> and heartbreaking. But you know where sister is, right? Right. She's in heaven. We had prepared and had all these dreams and her nursery done. Two weeks before we were scheduled to be induced to meet her, we found out that for some reason, like that she, her just, her heart stopped. Blakely Grace Baker passed away just before she was born, but because a friend borrowed a device called a cuddle cot, Heather and Cody had two days with their little girl. Looking back, it was just the most beautiful gift of time because she got to sleep next to us for the first and last time. And she looked absolutely perfect in the morning when we had to say goodbye. The cuddle cot cools the body and stops it from deteriorating. Now the hospital where Blakely was born has one of their own. And we just want to say thank you for allowing us to donate this because mm -hmm. we would give anything to have her here, but because she's not, we just want to use our story to help other families and for them to know that they'll be okay. It's possible to find joy in tragedy. I know. To laugh and cry. We ask that you'll continue to bless the Baker family. And laugh again. Blakely's parents had moments full of happiness on the saddest day of their lives. There's space for so much joy in the fact that it's the day our second daughter was born, but then so much sadness in the fact that we knew we wouldn't get to take her home. They hope to give another family the gift of a moment more than sadness. Because she does have a beautiful birth story. It just isn't one that most people are used to hearing, but we love talking about her. In Castle Rock, Katie Eastman, 9 News.